If you've ever been to Mackinac Island or have ever heard of the place, you will know that it's famous for its fudge. At every fudge shop, there's usually someone standing outside trying to offer you one of their 30 different flavors of fudge. It's said to be world famous, but now I have unlocked the secret to making even better fudge. This has been a family tradition for my family for forever. It started with my great grandma Taylor, and then she taught my grandpa how to make it, and then I learned how to make it. First, I will properly teach you how to mix all of the ingredients together. Then, I will teach you the precise boiling steps to boiling your fudge. And lastly, I will teach you how to stir the fudge before pouring it onto the plate. By following these steps, you will be able to make and enjoy the most mouth-watering fudge. Every special recipe has a specific way to mix their ingredients, so I'm going to show you how to mix these ones. First, you're going to take four cups of sugar and pour it into a tall saucepan. Then, you are going to take six tablespoons of cocoa and put it in there and pour it in two, and then take a wooden spoon and mix it all up, making sure there are no lumps and pressing out any that you see. That's, that's important if you want it to be smooth. Then, you're gonna take your liquid ingredients and take caro syrup and pour it in a tablespoon. You're gonna need four of these. So pour it in your tablespoon and take your silicone spatula and make sure you get every last drop out, which is important too. Then you're gonna take a one pint of heavy whipping cream and pour it into the fudge as well. Now you've, you have all of your liquid ingredients in there and you're gonna mix it all together. And when you're done mixing it, you're gonna add it to the heat and wait for it to boil. No, normally watching a pot boil takes forever, but fudge will only take a few minutes. So once it starts to boil, you're gonna, or you're gonna wanna stir it before it starts to boil. But once it starts to boil, you're gonna stir it and take the temperature with a digital thermometer because the temperature is really important. So once you're stirring it and after about 15 minutes goes by, you're gonna wanna like to keep taking the temperature. And when it hits 238 degrees, you're gonna wanna take your fudge off the heat and don't stir it anymore. So now it's off the heat and you're going to add four capfuls of vanilla to your fudge in there and four teaspoons of butter. So just one tea or four teaspoons and then add it into your fudge. You're still not going to stir it. Now you're going to fill your sink with, with cold water and you're going to set your fudge in the sink for it to cool. Now while you're waiting for your fudge to cool, you're going to get your fudge plate and you're going to get a stick of butter and butter the bottom of your fudge plate so when you're eating your fudge, it's not, it's not hard to come off the plate. Now that your fudge is cooling, it'll take about 30 minutes to cool, but you're still gonna wanna take the temperature with your digital thermometer. Take the temperature, and when it hits 135 degrees, that's when you take it out of the sink, and you're going to want to start the stirring process now. Stirring isn't as easy as you guys would think. There are two different types of methods to stirring. There's the waterfall method, where you just lift up the fudge and let it fall off the spoon, and then there's the rapid stir. So first, once you take it out of the water, you're going to want to stir all of the vanilla and the butter in um, slowly because you don't want to make a mess. Then, you're going to rapid stir your fudge and until your arm gets tired because the stirring process is about 20 to 30 minutes. So stir it fast as long as you can, and then you're going to waterfall the fudge. So waterfall and waterfall, and you're going to notice that the fudge is just falling off the spoon really nice and easy and not in clumps. And you're going to notice that it's really, really shiny. But after a few minutes go, or not a few minutes, uh, like a while, 20 minutes goes by, you're going to notice that your fudge is going to turn dull and very, very um, clumpy as you lift it and make it fall off the spoon. It'll fall in clumps. That is when you know that you're going to take your fudge and you're going to want to pour it on your plate. So you're going to take your spoon and then you're gonna just like dump all of your fudge on your fudge plate. Now all of your hard work is done, so you just have to wait for your fudge to settle and then you can eat it. By following these steps, you will be able to make and enjoy the most mouth-watering fudge. First, make sure you have all of your ingredients and the correct measurements before you start. Then, you're gonna um, boil your fudge to the, per the perfect temperature before, pouring, or before taking it off the heat. Lastly, you will mix your fudge before pouring it on your plate. And now you can enjoy the most mouth-watering fudge without having to travel 193 miles to get it.